plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Word to your mother, your sister and your brother, but probably less your brother. Welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Today we're going to learn how to bend a crossover, a single crossover. A lot of people have asked me how to bend one of these and I thought, well, I'm already going to tell them. Sorry about the slight lack of time between our last video. I've actually been on holiday in Italy where I actually hired a car out and drove around where there aren't any rules, apparently. That's all I need to say. Right, anyway, let's get on with this video. Remember everyone, it's gonna be absolutely great. So remember, hold tight. Right then, so what it comes down to when you're doing this is a bit of practice. Now, your first bend is the most important bend. You're gonna to wanna to do a bend that's more than a 45, but less than a 90. Ooh, here we go. Right, so let's pull this round. I might just go a little bit further. So let's say we want to do a bend, a crossover, that's going to take a 15 mil pipe through here like that. That would mean you want to leave a gap of say 20 mil. You always have your nice flat edge in here. Pop your tape measure on there and measure the gap out of 20 mil, which is what it is there. And then make sure that you're kind of symmetrical on here. Now I'd say, so far I'd say it's probably about symmetrical about there. Right, once you've got those, you pop your finger on here and run a line across the pipe there and then run a line across the pipe here. So then you've got two lines, just like that. Now for the next bit, I'm gonna, we're going to bend out our pieces like this and like this. Now you know what I'm like when it comes to using vices on videos, I hate to do it, but because we're trying to get this done right and make it look really good for you, and also because we want to show you the right way of doing it, because most of the time when you bend one of these you'll be on the floor, we're going to pop this in the vice for you now so you can get a really good overhead look at where you need to line up uh, ready for your next bend. So let's do that now. Oh my god. Right, so what we now do is we pop our marked piece of pipe in here, okay, and we get it so our mark is touching the top of this lip here Now, once you've got it in there run your former in and just nip it a slight bit so it holds it in position so there you go you've got your mark just here okay and then you just run your former in nicely like so and just tighten that just hold it tight just like that now the next bit you very quickly need to do is just make sure that as the pipe goes out of the back of the former it's level and we do that with our ruler and just get down on one knee and just have a quick look I just needs a little pull your breather up tiny tap down there Right, we're ready to bend. So bending it out is really easy. All you want to do is imagine a line. That as you're bending this round like that, it comes round and lines up with our other mark here. So it's easy to do once you've done it loads of times. You can just do it with your eye and just see it lining up. Just look down the pipe. But a lot of the time, you want to grab something, just lay that on there and make sure it's in line. Always remember you get a little bit of spring back. So when you let go, that will just spring back a little bit and that bend's done there. So there we have our bend here. Now you're going to think, you turn over and there'll be no mark on the other side. So what you do is I always just lay my ruler along the centre of the bit you've already done, get your pen and just run your next mark there and then you put your next mark to go on. Pop this back in here like we showed you earlier, get your mark so it's in there like we showed you earlier, just so it's touching on that line. Run your former in, tense it up, put your ruler on here, make sure that your horizontal is nice and straight once you think you've got it in the right position, bend it out so it's in line. And there you go. Right, so there we go, bent it out. There you go, always make sure it's nice and level. Lovely. Got another little baby there as well, it's another equal one. There you go. So there we go, there's a crossover. And there's another one. They're great. They go up here, look at that, they go up there nice. So does that one, that goes up there nice. In fact, I think that one's so good, I could throw a dart through that and hit triple 20. Not a bullseye, because I know about darts, triple 20 is better. So, I hope you found today's video informative and helpful. Remember, as you go on and the more bends you do in all different types of copper pipe work, you will start to use less tools for it. You probably won't use your ruler after a while. You probably won't even use your measuring tape. You'll look at it and go, well that's, that's a 28 mil pipe, I'm gonna need a 35 mil crossover, so I'm gonna bend that out blah 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 look at it like that it's going to be absolutely great but once you've done it loads of times you wouldn't have to go through all the stuff that i've been going through but that's the full-on theory of how you do it if you want any more help or any more information please visit our website plumberparts.co.uk remember you can subscribe to our videos you can follow us on twitter and on facebook and all that sort of stuff we do do a thing called ask the plumber so if you've got any questions ask us in the comments below or on any of those other mediums and we will come back to you hopefully either with a reply where you've asked the question or with an actual video giving you a reply and giving everyone else a reply too but that only happens if we think your question is good enough and that it's going to help a lot of people out 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you come back and watch more videos in the future. Remember people, you've got to hold tight throughout the night, keep it real and all that. I'm going to get George because George is actually out, he's out and about at the moment, I can hear him. He's climbing around on top of Plumber Parts HQ's shed. Here he is, the beast himself, all grumpy, not very happy, are you George? Because you're sitting on top of the shed and now you're in here in another Plumber Parts video. Are you happy about that George? Do you like his collar? He's got a class collar, don't you? Look, look at that. <laughs> Come on in, Georgie. Right, we'll see you guys later. Oh. Hold tight throughout the night. Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice. <laughs>